In this video, I will go over how to use a hundreds chart for adding bigger numbers. First, you'll need to get a hundreds chart. Now, these are fairly easy to print off of the internet. You also will need to get a marker or chip of some kind. I like to use one that's see-through so that I can see what I'm working with, but a penny and nickel work just as well. Now that we have our supplies, we're ready to start. So here's the question we're going to start with first. 14 plus 52. Now when adding with a hundreds chart, it's a good habit to always start with the bigger number. So 52 is bigger than 14. I'm going to start with 52. I'm going to put my marker on that. Add tells me that I need to be going forward. The number needs to be getting bigger. I'm counting on. So I'm going to count on 14. One way to do that is just simply count on 14 times. So let's try that. Start at 52. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I get to 66. That didn't take too long. Sometimes when we're adding bigger numbers though, there is a lot of counting and there's a way to make it a little bit faster on the hundreds chart. When I add on the hundreds chart, I can go forward by ones, but I also can go down by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Each one is bigger by 10 and it works in every single column. 4 plus 10 is 14 plus 10 is 24. So I can count down by tens and to the right by ones. So to make this a little bit faster, I could still start at 52 and I can count on 14, but I'm going to go 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And I get to the same answer. A strategy is a way to accurately and relatively quickly come to a solution. So both of those strategies were accurate, they were correct, and they were both fairly quick. So either would work well for that question. The answer, no matter what strategy you use, is 66. Let's try another question. What about 27 plus 37? Well, when I'm adding on a hundreds chart, it's always a good idea to start with a bigger number. 37 is the bigger number, so I'm going to put my marker on 37. Next, adding tells me I need to move forward or down to add. The number needs to be getting bigger. I'm going to add on 27. Counting 27 times could take a while, so that strategy might not be the fastest, but it will get me the correct answer. Let's try. Start at 37. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. I get 64. It didn't take too long, but it took a little while. I could try the other strategy, and it should be a little bit faster. I'm going to start at 37. And I'm going to count on by tens, then by ones. 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. Both times the answer was 64. It took a little bit less time to add when I counted by tens and then by ones. The important thing when adding is to find a strategy that works for you, that gets you the correct answer each time, but that also is relatively quick. Good luck!